Today I'm going to show you how to use resin with LEDs for wearable tech projects. For this video, I'm going to make glowing crystals, but you can use this technique for any project you'd like. Resin is a material that starts as a liquid and cures to be solid. It is often used for crafts, sometimes with the addition of colors and sparkles. First of all, you'll need to gather your materials. I found a resin kit on Amazon, which I'll share a link to in the comments. This kit came with several molds, including the ones I'll use today, and was about $20. You'll also need a UV light to cure the resin. These are the same that they use in nail parlors, so if you search for a UV nail light, you'll find what you're looking for. The one I got was about $16. For LEDs, I've used my own wearable tech kit, which is a kit designed specifically for wearables, and this kit starts at $13. I was drawn to the crystals because I love using crystals in my designs. I've done several projects with crystals in the past, but I've usually used ready-made gems and glued the lights to them. This hasn't been very durable though, since I've had problems with the gems coming off. With the resin, we're able to solve that problem, plus have the ability to customize our own designs. I'm trying out two styles of crystal from the kit, the long pendant style crystal and one of the small ones. I'll start with the pendant crystal. You'll need to fill up the mold with resin nearly to the top. You'll want it full enough that the LED will stick, but not so full that it'll overflow. Next, put the LED directly into the resin. Then I put a little bit more resin on top to really secure the LED inside. Then it's time to cure. Put the UV lamp directly over the resin. I was lucky that mine was just tall enough for the mold that I was using. The curing time will depend on the size of the mold. For this design, it took about one minute to be completely firm. Next, carefully remove the mold and you're done. I was really happy with how this turned out and how the light diffused throughout the entire crystal point. With my kit, there are several settings to pulse and change color, and the effect is pretty cool in my opinion. I did the same process with the smaller crystal. This also looked cool, although I personally was more excited by the longer crystals because how the light diffused into the entire larger shape. As I mentioned in the beginning of this project, you can also use color or glitter or different types of additives to enhance your designs. I was personally happy with the clear one for this project, but there are a lot of different possibilities. My plan is to use these crystals in a design by having them poke out from the fabric. I have some ideas already, so stay tuned on this channel to see the final project. For more wearable tech projects and inspiration, subscribe to my channel or check out wearabletutorials.com for all of my tutorials in one place.